<laughs> is uh, Kildemo. Kildemo dwelled uh, at the start. Meantime, as they approach the first of the 19 fences, the leaders all bunched together. Uh, Panto Prince up on the outside of Won't Be Gone Long. After those two, Man and Magic close on the inside. Then comes the market leader, Solid as a Rock, being pursued by the outsider, Gainsay. The second fence is the first of the open ditches. Man and Magic, none too clever at that fence, and it's now Won't Be Gone Long, who goes on in front. Won't Be Gone Long, bidding for a double for both trainer Nicky Henderson and jockey Richard Dunwoody. But upside him on the outside, that Panto Prince. Then Doctrine's Express now moving into third, followed by Man and Magic on the inside of Solid as a Rock. Then in the green jacket, white sleeves, that's Cuddy Dale. Over on the far side, where Kildemo is still the back marker, but it's Won't Be Gone Long who is making it under Richard Dunwoody, who won this last year, of course, on Desert Orchid. Won't Be Gone Long, joined, though now, by both Doctrine's Express and Panto Prince, and indeed Solid as a Rock. This quartet all in the air together, and virtually inseparable they are with now Panto Prince, the narrow leader. That's uh, one from the inside with the hoop sleeves from Doctrine's Express in the blue and yellow jacket. Then outside of him with that white face, that's solid as a rock. Widest of all gain, saying on the inside, won't be gone long. Then comes Man of Magic, followed by Ballyhane and Cuddy Dale. And as they come to this next fence, Kildemo continues to bring up the rear. A plain fence now, Panto Prince by half a length from Won't Be Gone Long, back in second. Then Cuddy Dale's made good ground to go right up there at close third, followed by Doctrine's Express in four. Five is solid as a rock. Again, a plain fence. Uh, Ballyhane, a little bit of a mistake at that one. He's now last but one. So they've crossed the first six fences and these are the SP. Solid as a rock, send off as the 15 to 8 favorite. Doctrine's Express, second favorite at 7 to 2. Then it's Kildemo, 9 to 2. And a magic 9 to 1. 10 to 1 bar those four. And now they start the home turn. We're just over a circuit still to travel. Coming now to this, the George Bend, with on the inside, Cuddy Dale, now uh, virtually upside Panto Prince, with on the extreme outside, Gainsay, just in after them, won't be gone long. At this one now, Panto Prince from Gainsay and Cuddy Dale, then solid as a rock, won't be gone long. Between those two is Doctrine's Express, and up on the outside, Ballyhane. Man and Magic is last but one, and Kildemo still just last of all. That was the eighth fence. They come on now to what is going to be the final one after another circuit. This field of nine still closely bunched together, headed by Cuddydale and Panto Prince, stride for stride those two, with Gainsay just third in front of Ballyhane and Solid as a Rock, then Won't Be Gone Long and Doctrine's Express. Kildemo has moved up one place, and Man of Magic is now the back marker. That's the top weight Man of Magic who concedes weight all round. So they pass the post, a circuit to run, and it's Cuddy Dale, the youngest in the field, who is in the lead, followed by Panto Prince, four times already successful over these Kempton fences. Now they make their way to the water jump for the only time in the race. It is fence number 10, Cuddy Dale and Panto Prince together, with Gainsay over in third, and then Solid as a Rock, the favourite in four. Five and making little ground, Bally Hayne, and after them won't be gone long, with Doctrine's Express, Man and Magic, and Kildemo once more, the back marker. Nothing in it there between Cuddy Dale and Panto Prince. All jump that fence well. And after the two leaders, Bally Hayne just creeping up somewhat. And Man and Magic now beginning to run on. Then comes Solid as a Rock. But it's Cuddy Dale and Panto Prince still virtually inseparable as they make way over towards the far side of the course. They've only got seven fences left to take now in the racing post chase. So they're well past halfway. And it's Cuddy Dale and Declan Murphy, Panto Prince and Brendan Powell. And after them, comes Ballyhane, the horse who is four pounds wrong in this handicap. Just after him, solid as a rock, the market leader with Man of Magic, the top weight, and then a little gap to Docklands Express. So on they go towards the next, which will be the 13th of the 19 fences, and up front, the two still disputing it are Panto Prince and Cuddy Dale. They're into it together, stride for stride. Ballyhane over in third, Man of Magic four, solid as a rock, is very close in five, then Docklands Express and uh, Kildemo is still last. Now to another plain fence, uh, another open ditch rather, the last of the ditches in the race. And here it's Cuddy Dale by half a length, no more, from Panto Prince. Ballyhane staying on very strongly in third, right behind them. Then a little gap to Man of Magic and Solid as a Rock. Docklands Express is joining those leaders as well. And after them a gap to Kildemo. 
On they go then towards the fourth from home, a plain fence, and it's Cuddy Dale with the narrow advantage still from Panto Prince. Cuddy Dale out jumped Panto Prince there to gain at least a length in the air, and he's now two lengths up on the field with Panto Prince in second for being challenged strongly by Docklands Express. And Docklands Express with the yellow cap now right up there in second. And after them, on the outside, solid as a rock with Man of Magic and Bally Hayne. They're all close now as they make their way to the final turn. Into the final half mile or so now they run with Cuddy Dale in the white sleeves hanging on narrowly to the lead from the Panto Prince and now solid as a rock being produced by the champion up on the outside with Docklands Express still there as well. Nothing in it between these. Cuddy Dale from Docklands Express now. Panto Prince has shot his boat. Man and Magic's got it all to do. Bally Hayne is struggling a bit over on the far side and it's Docklands Express and solid as a rock has suddenly gone out like a damn squib and it's Docklands Express from Cuddy Dale and Bally Hayne staying on once more. After these three, a gap to Panto Prince. They've only got one to jump now in the racing post chase, and it's Docklands Express, the second favourite. Docklands Express, man and magic stable mate, coming to the last in front from Cuddy Dale, a brave second. Bally Hayne over in third, then man and magic Panto Prince and Solid as a Rock. They're on the run up toward the line, and Docklands Express and Anthony Torrey are going to prevail or are they because Cuddy Dale is rallying Cuddy Dale coming up on the far side Docklands Express just gets there it's close it's a photo finish Docklands Express for me just got there from Cuddy Dale Bally Hayne and then Man of Magic followed in by Panther Prince solid as a rock and Kildina who made virtually no show at all finished last of all but the judge has called for the evidence of a photo finish camera the judge today is Sandra Williams and thus I thought Docklands Express is going to win it quite cosily but Cuddy Dale rallied to some purpose and uh, Docklands Express was rapidly tying up towards the line but I think he just had enough uh, impetus to carry him over the line first so for me the outcome of this race is first number seven Docklands Express owned by Mr. R.H. Baines trained at Upper Lambourne by Kim Bailey if he's won that's the 20th winner of the season for Kim Bailey and it would be number 17 for jockey Anthony Torrey. And there we are, and I think that does confirm that Docklands Express, the horse on the near side, has got there. The angle, though, in fact, favours the horse on the far side, but uh, certainly looking at that, I, I guess that Docklands Express has prevailed from number six, which was Cuddydale and Declan Murphy. Third, number nine, Valley